Good afternoon, Todd Thornton from TransWest Truck Trailer RV here in Frederick, Colorado. Thank you for joining us this afternoon. I would like to proudly show you our very first 2022 Newmar Mountain Air 4118. This is a beautiful coach and I'm excited to show it to you. This one is stock number 5N, 210, 630. Again, it's the 2022 Mountain Air 4118 with the Avalon graphics on the exterior. As you can see, which is the blue, the silver, the white. Beautiful looking coach. We'll quickly go around the outside of the coach. We'll show you a few features of it and then we'll go inside to show you what you're probably looking forward to seeing. Um, up here you got your standard fuses, access to your generator, your 10K generator, owning generator with the HWH hydraulic um, thing to pull the generator out. You've got the large 365, 70, 22 and a half Michelins. On most of the new Mars, you've got a diesel fill from both sides, the driver and the passenger side. This is an all electric coach with the eight maintenance free AGM batteries right there with a on a slide tray. You've got one main pass through storage tray that is electric. As you can see, you can access from either side. And new, when uh, you open up the doors, the LED lights inside automatically turn on. You've got the Oasis Chinook hydronic heating system, which is new this year. This year, the, they had a standard hydronic heater on it last year. This is the dual loop. Chinook system. You've got a 50 foot, 50 amp power cord reel that is electric. A little button that'll roll it right in for you with an auto transfer switch. This one does have the stainless steel trim package on all the compartment doors on the bottom of them. Look really good. In here, you've got on the mountain air, now you've got all digital displays for your tank levels, your black tank flush. Brand new for the 2022 is now a gray tank flush. I've had a lot of customers over the years ask me why they don't do a gray tank flush. They've listened, now they have one. So it's got a built-in RV SantaCon system. So you can use the traditional dump, the bigger hose, or the new SantaCon system. Power cord or uh, power fresh water hose. And as you can see, this is all stainless steel with everything etched in, so you're not going to have uh, decals that wear off in a few years. Full house filter. And they also make it very easy with your water pump. If this were to go bad, it's pretty easy to, to change out and carry a spare one with you versus having to get under the bed and rip it out. Back here, you've got the uh, 315 ADR 22 and a half Michelins, a little smaller than the front ones. This is a steerable tag axle, so it's gonna turn very, very nicely for you. Whether you're going uh, forward or in reverse, this is going to turn with you up to 20 miles an hour. You've got your 15 gallon DEF tank. That is only fillable on this side, or actually it's on both sides also, but I'll show you the other side. 15 gallons, diesel exhaust fluid, side radiator. You got your large 500 horsepower Cummins with 1,695 pounds of torque. Plenty of power to Go that trailer, your stack of trailer, boats, whatever. And 
And below this bad boy, you've got your standard built-in airline for, if you have an Air Force One system, it's already got the airline there for you. Got your seven-way plug, your 15,000 pound tow hitch. And if you were towing a stacker trailer and you had a camera inside the stacker trailer behind it, you can also connect a Voyager camera for that. To show on your dash. This mountain area is on the Spartan K3 chassis. And even though we can't see it up on the roof, there's two um, satellite systems. One is a in-motion satellite, one is a stationary satellite. Both can be programmed to DISH or DirecTV. You got your two house batteries, or I'm sorry, your chassis batteries, with your chassis disconnects right here. Again, very easy to change your air dryer, your fuel filter. <clears throat> Again, the stainless steel trim package. There's the other side of your death fill. So you can fill the diesel exhaust fluid from both sides. Like all the new Mars, you have a egress door right here. If there was a fire or something in the um, generator compartment in your bedroom, instead of you trying to figure out how to get out the window, you can open this up, a ladder comes down. Very easy to get out. This compartment is kind of nice. It's a little pegboard. You can put your chemicals, tools, odds and ends things. This one behind there is you got your, your water tanks. All your tanks and everything are, are insulated and heated inside these coaches. As long as you have your hydronic heater on, it's gonna keep all your bays warm. Halfway, little tray here. And as you can see, they make it very simple with all their stuff with Numar. They got your central vacuum, HDMI cables, your awning remotes right there, uh, slide room controllers, tile heat controller. So it's very easy to get to anything in the coach that maybe you have a malfunction, an error code. A lot of times all it takes is unplugging that, let it reset for about five minutes, plugging it back in and it'll, it'll cure itself. So no digging around, taking panels off, very easy to find. This coach, as you can see, has a camera right there as part of the 360 camera system. So when you're driving it, you have maximum visibility. It almost looks like a helicopter is flying above you, which is awesome technology. Outside here, you've got a Samsung, Samsung Smart TV with a Bose soundbar. So you can use the soundbar for your TV, your dash radio, or you can hook your Bluetooth uh, phone up into it. Again, the pass-through storage, you can see it's on a power button right here on the door. No more breaking your back trying to get a box in the middle there. Awesome feature that you have to get into the mountain air level or an above to get. You got the new Dometic CFX refrigerator freezer right here on a slide tray. So you can set one to be a freezer, one to be a refrigerator. As you can see, it pulls out far enough where you're not messing with your slide. Also new to this year, I love this. Why not utilize the space above it? They put a shelf in there to, to store some stuff above it. Last year was kind of wasted space, so it's great thinking on their part. Here's the fill on the other side for the diesel fill. So you got diesel fill and def fill on both sides. You also, we forgot to show you on the other side, uh, have electric window awnings. So if you're not able to put out the rooftop Gerard awnings, you can press a button inside of this and this little tent awning will come down to cover this window and the two windows on the other side, the bedroom window and the large living room windows. Like I said, up top, you can see the LED lights on. Those are the Gerard Nova awnings. They go the uh, length of the roof and they are the ones that come out and kind of crook down a little bit for keep the sun out of your, your campsite pretty good. This is the 4118. It is currently, I think, the most popular floor plan in the 
in the Newmar lineup at this time because of the bathroom and the length of it. So come on in. This is a beautiful coach with three slides. The first one being the full wall slide on the driver's side here. You've got a kitchen slide and a bedroom slide. This is the Avalon decor with the Bermuda glazed maple high gloss finish on the wood. This setup is, uh, they ordered this in with the individual recliners. Theater seating is not an option on the 4118 this year, so it's either these or the couch setup. All the MCD blinds are day-night blinds, so you can press a button, you can have all the day blinds come down, you press a button, all the day or night blinds come down. As all the coaches in the luxury lineup from the Mountain Air up, none of these windows open. The only windows that are going to open up here are the one by the uh, passenger seat and this window back here. This one was ordered with the combo dinette with the buffet table that comes out. So you can utilize it for eating and it also doubles as a, a workstation. And you can have your monitor come up through there. You've got a built-in file cabinet on this side. Right there for your files. All these drawers, of course, are soft close, dovetail construction. All tile throughout, heated floors throughout with three different zones. I'm going to turn around. You got a fold and tumble small bed here. A 43 inch Samsung Smart TV on a Televator. So at the press of the button, that's going to go away. A Bose sound bar. One thing new to this year with all the models, they are no longer providing a Blu-ray player. It's still going to have the connections for it. But they have eliminated, eliminated the Blu-ray player because of the streaming technology. Most people are starting to go that way. So. One of the big changes, this is the kitchen area. Um, the overall cabinet height has been raised to 18 and a half inches over the, the kitchen counter. So they're no more smaller. You can actually access everything very easily. You got your Fisher Paykel washer or dishwasher. I'll wait on the power on. You got your cooktop or your cutting boards on each side. Your induction cooktop and of course this does come out to take outside and go cook that fish of yours. Induction microwave oven. Like I said, Whirlpool appliances both here and your residential refrigerator. Refrigerator, built in ice maker, and on the front of the refrigerator, you have your water dispenser. Built in locking system right here, which is pretty nice. If you've been into any, a lot of the other motorhomes, you, you'll see even high end other brand motorhomes have a bungee cord holding it. This one, you do that and it locks it. Open this up. There's no more a lock right here. They've gotten rid of that and all these drawers are, you gotta push them to unlock them. And they're all adjustable throughout the, the pantry. Behind you, you got your, the central bath, or central bathroom I should say. Both the toilets do have a SantaCon system. And then obviously it has the full RV SantaCon system. You got a king bed. 
under this king bed, you can see it's a, this is a sleep number bed with an air uh, pillow top, adjustable on each sides. You got your two extra chairs for the front table, the folding chairs, which are nice because again, no cloth, it's all leather. On both sides of the bed, new to this year, I'll show you. They no longer have the outlets outside of the, the cabinets. They are now built inside the cabinet. And you can see, you can run your cords up and out. So instead of having it out here with your cords everywhere, it kind of goes out here very nice. And you can see when you shut it, you can still get in there. Behind you, or behind us again, I've got dual closets. And I had a customer ask me this earlier about this window. It is an emergency window, but you can still open it and it still has a screen. Like I said, you'll, I doubt you would ever use the emergency window because of the egress door behind it. Again, all these soft closed drawers. Into the bathroom, which makes the 4118. The, the old 4018 was popular, but not near as popular as this because it had a dome shower. This one actually has a square shower. It's a lot larger. We've uh, ordered it in with the bench seating. You also have the above for uh, rain or whatever you want a shower head and then the bottom you have the the spray wand lock here and here you've got quite a bit of place for store your towels all those are again adjustable in here you got a large closet with a built-in safe all cedar lined. And cool thing about these mirrors, they got lights built into it. I'll show you. Lights built into the mirrors. He's also open up behind it for a very large vanity with a plug in there so you can leave your razor plugged in. You got the Splendy washer and dryer. And more storage over here. Again, like I was explaining on the outside of the coach, the emergency egress door is pretty awesome. It's uh, undo that, unlock the lock, opens up, pull this little tab. There's a ladder behind there that you It'll go down and you, you walk out versus trying to figure out how to fall out that window over there above the bed or behind the bed. Back here you got a full length mirror. And as always, Numar is all solid wood throughout the construction. In the shower area you have a cathedral ceiling as you can probably see. The mountain air level and up, you uh, have a silver leaf system that has all your controls on it as far as your floor heat, block heat, generator, auto gen generator start, um, climate control, everything's on here. Your lights are all on this one and they're all dimmable. Which is also cool this year, they came out with a new app that's downloadable with the Apple or Android services. Um, you can download the app and it'll include the tank levels, climate control, AC-DC power system status, water pump, uh, the autofill, the entry door locks, the baggage door locks, the interior main group lighting, so you can dim your lights by the, the remote or your app. You can also do your security lights and all your shade controls 
by the push of a button on an app. Pretty awesome. As you can see, most of the lighting controls you've got in this room alone, you've got one, two, three, four, five lighting controls in this room. Like I said, you touch it, the push of the button, you can put all your day shades down. And then with one other push of the button, you can each do individual ones also, but press one button here and all your uh, night shades are gonna go down. <laughs> Pretty awesome. I'll raise them all back up. Oop. Impatient. Out here, this little island, while we're finishing up here again, all soft closed drawers. The little island, you give it a little nudge, goes in, press this little button, and it releases it, and you can pull it back out. Um, up front here, they have uh, increased the, the monitor size on the Mountain Air. Like I said, this one is on a Spartan chassis, all digital dash. Um, they've increased the size to 10 and, inch half, 10 and a half inch screens on both your camera system. I'll show you that 360 camera, it's pretty cool. All right there. Uh, which one am I doing? Oh, we've got the, uh, the hood up, so it's gonna look a little weird. Um, but yeah, usually this would show, if you turned your blinker on, it'll show the right or the left. It will also show your 360 camera, the helicopter above it basically looking. And then you've got your hitch view to, to back up your trailer. Everything else, this is another Samsung 43 inch TV, smart TV. Uh, this one obviously has the mobile eye, which is the lane assist and the collision mitigation system. You've got the hydraulic HWH uh, leveling system the built-in Kurt Spectrum brake control, which is kind of nice. And then all your uh, comfort steer and all that stuff's built into the dash this year, so you don't have a switch anymore to, to turn that. You got a passenger. She can change the radio, mapping controls, all that stuff can be controlled right here. Built-in Wi-Fi Ranger throughout the coach. So you can turn your coach into a hotspot or use it to amplify the campground signal. Seat belts and everything are built into the chairs, so they're no more up here where they don't cut them across your neck. And they're very comfortable, soft villa furniture. What do you think? You wanna buy it? <laughs> that is the 4118 2022 Newmar Mountain Air that we have just received. Again, this one is stock number 5N210-630. If you have any more uh, questions, concerns, you want more pictures, give me a call at 970-301-3736 or send me a quick email at todd, T-O-D-D dot Thornton, T-H-O-R-N-T-O-N at transwest.com. And I'll get you over the build sheet or let you know what we have coming in. These things are not lasting long, um, I've got this and one London Action London Air sold last night. This is the only new coach and one Dutch star on the ground. We got some very, very nice uh, King Airs, pre-owned King Airs. So if you're interested in any of those, give us a shout. Uh, and we'd love to reach out and do a video for you guys. So thanks much and uh, have a great day.